I had a dream uh, a few days ago. I'll put the, the notes in the description, I guess, in the video. Um, but it involved my mom, and it was kind of touching. And so I figured I'd make it into a Mother's Day card for her. So I made up a design in Blender and uh, made it three colors and then put it together into black and white so I could cut it out. And then um, I set this up. So when I first set up my laser, I, I put the, the supports accidentally on top of both of the control cables for the, the motors, which are also the power cables, which are also like stronger than the motor. You can see them here in the shot too. And so this first one uh, I had to redo because it ran to the end of the cables and then and then lost count of stuff because it was pulling against the cable. So anyway, I had to throw this one away, but uh, you can see the process here. I think I was running the laser. Well, the, the good thing that came out of it is that on this one, I was running the laser at about 100%. I think it was full power. And on the second attempt, uh, I used this one as a test and, and fiddled with the power and got it down to maybe 80% or so. Uh, so almost full power, but not quite, and it, it reduces the burn on the edge of the, the paper a little bit. Not a lot, but, you know, enough. And, uh, yeah, so here's just a bunch of footage of laser, lasering things. It's so bright that the camera can't even. It's kind of a cool effect, though. So here's the second one. This is the you can see the background on the the cardboard up there is all burnt because that was from the first one. So the position is a little different. I set up some stops uh, to get it exactly the right place, but so that both or all three layers lined up properly and it worked out really well i was really happy with that it's using these washers to hold it down so it doesn't lift off and <laughs> there's where i i put the laser uh i put the washer right in the way of the laser that's the only uh the only time i had to move one of those things out of the way and you can see there's a tiny spot there where it's not quite cut all the way through so i just finished it with a razor blade once it was all done And uh, here's the the laser itself. It's kind of neat that you can see it going through the atmosphere. And the smoke helps, of course. <laughs> so that's a two and a half watt laser, I believe. Uh, so not hugely powerful. Just like I said, just barely powerful enough to cut through this construction paper in a uh, single pass but hey turned out pretty well there's some very very fine uh details in there especially in the the portrait on the back there's a, a photograph from my wedding of my mom and her mom grandma bennett who's now passed away and uh yeah there we go and then i put some uh spray on it you can't really see it but it kind of helps to even it out. I attached the layers together with super glue, and so there were a bunch of little spots where the super glue was had darkened the paper. So this uh, spray just kind of helps darken the whole thing. 